Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of Smooth Magic. We're going to continue our double masters dive here with another booster box. So uh, just getting at my, my tool here to open up the box here. And we're just going to give it a quick old nice slice right there. Look at that. Fairly easy, straightforward. So, now that we're a couple videos in, you know, we're all starting to get the hang of the dust Double Masters uh, set. I think it's really cool. It's great to see a lot of old favorites there. You know, I'm, I'm especially partial to those Urza's Lands. Uh, those are absolutely cool. Love to see those. And uh, I think uh, the next set they're doing, the, the Zendikar one, they're actually going to have slots for uh, like old cards so that will be really really cool to see I am a sucker for the old artworks uh, for the magic sets here all right so of course we've got our uh, box topper here we're gonna actually change it up a little bit I think we're gonna maybe open it up somewhere in the middle we'll, we'll find a good spot we don't need to wait till the end for every single one but um, here we go. First pack of the Double Masters. Let's go ahead and see what sort of things we pull here. And for the first rare, we got a Ratchet Bomb. Nothing, nothing too special there. And an Archangel of Thune. Man, these, I'll tell you what, I, I feel like I've actually got more of these than the old Obulettes. Yeah. That's, that is crazy to see that, that card come in so often. Love the artwork there. There's, you know, there's something about the... Let's bring this up here. I, just, I love that, that flaming sword look on angels in, in particular. I think it looks really cool. So, first pack. Got ourselves a mythic. I don't believe we have the opportunity to pull two mythics in one box yet or in one pack yet so still looking for that old uh, but it's not going to happen here as we see we have a shaman shamanic how do you pronounce that shamanic revelation a maelstrom pulse and uh and nothing much no i do I, I really love this lightning axe here this art not even to the foil, just the normal art just looks really cool. Again, I've mentioned this many times before, but huge, huge fan of the artwork. And in fact, that's kind of, I, I certainly enjoy playing Magic, but I feel the, my favorite bit is really just admiring the artwork. All right, we got a Goblin Guide here. So in this one, he actually has multiple maps. I think the showcase one, he only has one map on his on his head there, and a broody clad. Okay, uh, cast down foil. All right, so uh, packs two and three, a little lackluster. Again, I think we're going to use this box stopper here to kind of, um, you know, kick up the kick us back up in the high here if we find ourselves falling behind probably uh open that and try to get a rally going got the graven cairns and the old wrath of god and we got ourselves a foil let's bring that up here got ourselves a foil maelstrom pulse Things a little nice and tidy right out of the gate. Yeah, most of our uh, rare foils have been pretty, uh, you know, ho hum. We haven't got anything too, too spicy there. Got the beacon of unrest as our first rare, and a Bosch iron golem. got pack number six I feel like if uh, if pack six and seven don't hit we're gonna be going for that box topper and 
seeing if we can't make something happen here. There we go, Dark Depths. Dark Depths, what a cool, cool piece of art. And a rolling earthquake. Okay, that was uh, maybe a little bit of a rebound, we'll see. Oh, my bad, actually that was pack number five. This is pack number six. I'm losing track of the packs already. Open the vaults. Number one. Oh, is that a Jace? Oh. Oh, all right. Pack number six. Coming in for the big old Jace. All right. We are now back in the game. That box topper we can let sit for a little bit longer. And let it stew a little bit. Make sure we get the proper luck. Schrodinger's box topper right there. It is both a force of will and a meddling mage until you open it. Awakening zone and an austere command. Okay, we are now one third of the way through the box. I feel like we've uh, got some pretty good pulls here. So let's see if we can continue. Here we got a lightning breeze. Always love to see that. Dark confidant. And a Karn liberated. So there we are. There is the fabled double mythic. I'm sorry. Their cards are off the screen there. Double mythic pack. Very exciting to get one of those. And you know, I'm not sure about the Dark Confidant, but Kane? Not Kane. Karn. I'm getting all my <laughs> names mixed up here. Uh, yeah, Karn here. Is, uh, he's, a, he's a good pull to pull in for that Mythic slot. Oh, here we are. The Liege of the Tangle. And a Blade Splicer. Yeah, I think... Um, I think the ne next packs are going to be a little little weaker. Again, it always seems you get those ebbs and flows in the, the cycles here. And that's okay. Makes it all the more exciting when you finally hit that big Jacer Karn. Got the Court of Calling. And a Falconrath Aristocrat. So I think... But the double masters, you typically are gonna be getting two foil rares per box. That's about the cadence I've seen. And that would make sense. In general, you'd get, you know, one foil rare per booster box, but with two uh, rares in every pack, double that. So there you go. Nice. Engineer Explosives. It's a heavy hitter right there. And a Noble Hierarch. Ooh, this pack right here, another another stellar pack so nice to see those two friends come side by side right after this one we're going to do a quick cleanup here move these commons off to the side a deep glow skate Heartbreak and Spring, our heartbeat, heartbeat of Spring, and eh, nothing else there. Okay, so let's take a quick moment here and just kind of move some of these commons off to the side, make room for the next half of the box. All right, going in into the second half of of the box there. Mishra's Bobble. I love seeing that too. And <laughs> an old kitty cat. A Trinosphere. So, was that mythic number one, two, three, four, five? Okay. Looking good so far. A Goto Bandit Warlord. It's 
Still really looking for the force of will. Metamorphosis. This one is actually a... That one's a pretty nice pull as well. So yeah, force of will still has eluded us. Spell Skype. And a master transmuter. That is cool looking art there. It's like a... Um, some sort of golem thing. Something like that. Yeah, the expedition map in foil. Not bad. All right, if we don't hit something uh, real smooth here, we're going to go for that box topper and try to get a rally going again. Nobulet. Okay, nice. And Elseworm Canonist. And a Bloodspore Thyrinx. Yep, okay, I think it is time to pull out the big guns here with that box topper. Okay, let's uh, start our rally up again. Gotta make sure we don't, don't get too crazy on opening this up, that we bend the cards. We could also do one by one. You know, one now, one later. Well, actually, let's just do both of them. Okay, here we go. Number one. And there is this tower. Love the artwork. <laughs> don't love the financial value on that one. Very cool, though. And the next one. Ooh, an Avacyn, Angel of Hope. Nice mythic. Nice, nice artwork as well. The foil variant on this one is just absolutely astounding. I would say that's a pretty good... Pretty good one there. You know, we got the myth, one of the mythics, so... That's gonna keep that value up. It looks like we might have gone one over. Oh, that's okay. Adaptive Automaton and a Magnus of the Will. I'm still looking for one more foil rare. We got another, what, five packs after this to hit that? The Glimmer Void, and we, we almost forgot poor Braids here. We got a Brains and a Glimmer Void. Ooh, a Foil Abulet. Nice. <laughs> I like the guy's hands kind of sticking out of the, what would you call it, a sewer, sewer grate. So with the Box Topper, I think we're up to six Mythics. We've had a little bit of a dry spell. Let's see if we can uh, recover here. Pull another mythic. We got the Crags Wick Cremator and a Blink Moth Nexus. Nothing much there. Let's see, looking at this, we got five packs left. There we go. Mythic number seven, Karthus. And a Baleful Strix. <laughs> this little guy. Oh, he looks so happy to have lightning. A Stone Hewer Giant. For the rare number one, and... A Rex Methus, Slumbering Isle. That's a Kraken. 12 12, okay. Interesting. Reminds me of the old Leviathan. I think that was an Ice Age card. Friends and I used to love getting that out. Certainly eat all your islands, if I remember right, but oh man, was that an 8 8? Getting that out in the day was. that was something special. We got a Boon Reflection for rare number one, and a Kemba, Ka Regent, for number two. Two packs left. I hope you all have had a fantastic day and that you've enjoyed watching this video. We've loved having you here with us today, and hope to see you again. Hope that the smooth magic here has really helped you 
settle down and relax, focus on your day, how it's been, or maybe how it's going to be. And you just really enjoy the, the cool tunes here. Avenger of Zendikar. I think that's Mythic number 8. So looking pretty good on the Mythic front. Not quite so good on the Rare front. Or the Foil Rare front. So this is our last opportunity here to find that Foil Rare we're looking for. I think we already saw one of the Rares. Or the Foils. A dual caster mage and a terastodon. How was that pronounced? Terastodon. Yeah, there it is. Okay, well, there we have it. We only got one foil rare, but we did get. Let's take a look at this. We got a bunch of mythics. So we got one, two, three, nine mythics, including a Jace and a Karn. As I said, it was a pretty successful box. Thank you again, everyone, so much for watching us here on Smooth Magic. And until next time, we wish you all to have a smooth day.